noticed a lot of those pollen clouds out there the last few days with the wind especially. Take a look right now. You can see where we're heading overnight. We've got a few more clouds that are going to stream in. We've got temperatures in the 40s too, so this is another chilly round to go. And then we see the pollen counts. Well, still high over the weekend. We're also looking at grasses and weeds. These are reporting at very high levels. And so if you have not usually suffered from seasonal allergies, now might be the time you're sniffling and have some itchy eyes. And that's because we've got trees out there. We've also got the weeds all combined to give us some trouble. So let's take a look and see what we've got going on when it comes to those conditions. We are talking about temperatures out there in the 80s, folks, and dew points that are rather dry. We've dropped it down back into the 50s and getting out of those 60s where we were muggy the other day. They're right back though to the 60s and maybe even 70s as we get you into Tuesday as temperatures push into the mid and upper 80s. It's going to be muggy. It's going to feel a little bit more summer like, but we're also grateful to be getting rain chances after a very dry April. You know, today uh, starting off May on a dry note. We've got 70 degrees in Greensboro, 72 Winston-Salem and 73 in Mount Airy. We've got 66 in Galax. Have to go all the way south to see the action and this action may lift our way by Monday afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms and even tomorrow it creeps into the west for us with isolated severe threats building as we go through the afternoon in Tennessee and Georgia. Winds for us today warm still out of the west and southwest. We take in temperatures all the way to 73 in Martinsville, upper 60s in Mount Airy and 72 at least in Burlington, typically 74 this time of the year. So we're running just a touch below normal. We did hit 46 degrees for morning lows, so we cooled off. Once those winds dropped, those temperatures bottomed out with those clear skies out there, and you're looking at 52 degrees as well. So breezy out there for you tomorrow. The 12 hour forecast from 7 a.m. tomorrow morning at 48 degrees. We take you through lunchtime around 75, and anyone heading out for some of those afternoon soccer games at Truist Field and Winston-Salem and some games out in Greensboro, we've got breezy conditions just possible to 20 miles an hour. So masks will be a good idea for any seasonal allergy sufferers out there too. And we've got chilly conditions early morning with 46 in the foothills, warming to 78 degrees. Again, it's breezy, but a little bit more manageable than what we had for you yesterday. Now creeping up with those dew points, we're going to feel a little bit more uncomfortable getting you into your Monday. But look at what's happening by Monday morning. This gives you the water view. We start to get some scattered showers possible by our morning commute through 9 a.m. Some rain showers may be moving into the foothills and then through the triad as we get you through lunchtime, scattered showers, even isolated storms forming for the afternoon. We've dropped temperatures back just a little bit, so that's the change in the forecast into the upper 70s rather than the low 80s. And those scattered thunderstorms are going to be with us again on Tuesday, but less variety and heavy downpour action than what we might see going into Wednesday. So Tuesdays are drier day of the storm sessions here, and we've got you back into the 80s Wednesday. A very powerful westerly wind may move in to help heat you up before we see more scattered showers heading into Thursday and Friday. So on again, off again with the rain. It's not a complete washout this week, but I think Monday and Wednesday are the bigger rain days. Looking at the forecast wind speeds, we start to get breezy on Sunday and into Monday. This is going to be a windy day for us. It's going to be gusty. It's going to be rainy off and on, and then there are going to be a few thunderstorms possible for the afternoon and evening hours. Rainfall total though out there look to be a quarter of an inch up to a half an inch potentially for Monday evening. We're going to add more to that late Tuesday night into Wednesday and then hopefully ending off the week with an inch to an inch and a half in a few spots. I want to show you that seven day forecast. We've got impact days on for Monday season openers for the Greensboro grasshoppers and the dash on Tuesday and impact day on Wednesday with storm chances. Then we're drier, windy and getting you a little cooler to end the week.